both Goku and Superman. I'm going, yeah, okay, you know. So Superman like, won. Yeah, like, I don't. I, yeah, I don't care. I mean, I'm looking like this isn't canon. You know I mean, it, it's it's not like there's going to be a a literary, you know, you know, point of saying this is what what would happen if if Goku and Superman actually fought. Who cares? I, Screw Attack gave their point of view. Leave it alone. And it's not, legit. It's not like that Goku had actually lost his fights before anyway. So who gives a fuck? And if they ever, and you know what, if DC had ever done a Goku and Superman crossover, they would have done a story with it of them teaming up to fight some villain. That would yeah. be cool. They did a Dragon Ball and One Piece crossover. Yes, there was. I, st- I still. Manga form. I still want to see a Sailor Moon and Dragon Ball Z crossover. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, crossovers to me are not really my, you know, thing. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, Go- Goku and. And uh, wait, um, what's the town that um is based in um Sailor Moon? Uh, Tokyo, I believe. Uh, okay, Tokyo. Uh, um, is Tokyo also in in uh, Dragon Ball? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, uh, say Goku goes to Tokyo, and there's a eating competition. Uh, whose phone is ringing? Uh, my home phone. Is MJ I... calling you? No, no one has my home phone number. Actually, um, what would be funny as hell is if um, I could literally see when um, Goku, Gohan, uh, and Fujii are all uh, are all eating, and Goten Trucks are all eating. Uh, you see all the uh, Guardians, the uh, Guardians looking at them, going, "Wow, they eat worse than Usagi. I didn't think that was possible." Because <laughs> you, or, or, or this would be a great cro- crossover. You're, p- picture uh, you know, gathered together. Um, a few of the uh, manga characters that overeat, and 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 ba- I mean, do, do have an eating contest. It's like who will who who can eat the most food? Goku. <laughs> That'd be Goku, Luffy, derp derp derp. Oh God, the last piece of chicken though. Goku and Luffy look at eye each other at it. It's like that's mine. That's mine. <laughs> Goku goes to Brazil. Bix, that's my chicken. Wife. Gum gum pistol. That will be an awesome, you know, fight. <laughs> or, or or the uh the the near fight between Goku and Vegeta over the, over the in the uh, Goku and Son Son Goku and yeah. friends return. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like a uh, Goku gets a, gets one of Vegeta's uh what is it egg rolls or something. Yeah. That special was alright. You need to dub that. Well, uh, I can't wait for the uh, Battle of the Gods being dubbed. <laughs> Vegeta doing this retarded dance to, uh, I guess, entertain Bells. Oh, yes, that dance. Yeah. Oh, boy. I just want to see um, Bob that, against that... Slap Boy Bells and um, Vegeta turning um, Hide and Super Saiyan 3. What is in his Super Saiyan 2 um, state? Vegeta dancing is kind of like a red flag for me. Well, it, it, it's kind of well. You, you could say it's um, it's seeing Vegeta in a new characterization where he's not this pissed off prick. You know, he's he's mellowed out a bit. I would say he's better dead than Goku because Goku always wants to train. So yeah, well, I do well, want to see it. Yeah. Well, did, didn't Vegeta actually say? You know, Saiyans, you know, always train, you know, even during times of peace. And I think that was near the end of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. In the Buu Saga. But if they actually did a TV series, I would say, um, Goku, uh, you know, started off with Goku in, um, Oob's Village training. And, and they're kind of, you could say, uh, early teens, you know, well, it's a uh, oops, or, you know, in his early teens, where he, he's a uh, what, fifteen, instead of being ten years after Dragon Ball Z, it'd be like maybe five years. Yeah. Actually, um, be funny to see. Uh, Akira Toriyama says, "You know what? I'm gonna make a Dragon Ball Z musical." No. Oh lord. 
Oh, Bulma, Chi Chi singing, Goku trying to sing, but oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Goku songs would be based on food. Oh God, Funimation has to dub it. They have to sing it. It's like, oh crap. Um, uh, Chris Sav, we need you to sing. Sav's like, wait, you need me to sing as Vegeta and Piccolo? Yes. Oh, that would be terrible. The only good thing we probably get to hear Vic Mignogna sing, and I'd be happy. Be like, it's Vic Mignogna singing. I really want to see a live action Dragon Ball, but I oh know Dragon Ball Evolution failed so visually. Well, the, I just... the, the only way I would even be behind a, another a, a live action film again is uh, if Eric Vale, if uh, not Eric Vale, he, well he's cool, he's a good voice actor, but uh, I'm mean, always thinking of uh, Vic Mignogna. I mean, I've seen his uh, commentary. You know, he, when um, he's at a convention and he's preaching on about how American films are turned to crap. You know, they're all about the effects. They're not about the story. It depends what it is. Uh, I'm not really a fan of Vic Magnata because uh, I've heard he's an asshole in, uh, in the conventions he goes to. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, is there actual footage of this, of him being a, a prick to people? I don't know. I mean, I, I heard from people like a TOG professor that he's an asshole. Mm-hmm. That's a debate that'll probably never get answered until we actually see, have someone film. It's like, you want proof? Here's proof. Because, because I've only I've only seen nice clips about him. Like, uh, besides the the one on evolution, let's see, he uh, did a a pleading video to uh a, to like girls who who were they were supposed to go meet up their mom, and they're like, I guess what, hour too late. And and he's and he's like he's trying to make his case for them like like you know to to their mom like the reason why you know they're, they're not there on time is because they he, oh yeah it was a it was a Mother's Day uh, video like like he's he's a uh, he's he's wishing her a, a happy Mother's Day or something like that he's like he's he's making his case he's like you know have a great Mother's Day yeah so yeah so far I have yet to see a clip of him being a, a douche to, to people. But if he's a douche to someone, it's to the Evolution fanboys because they deserve it. Yeah, did you see the um, Toyama um, interview? What he did in Bow of Gods? About, oh uh, yeah, Dragon you mean Ball the one? Oh yeah, yeah, I've heard that some time ago. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I may not actually care for a Bow of the Gods, but if, but I would rather see that over oh. Evolution. But but. but, but but what had me scratching my head with that review, with that interview, is um, he he mentions it in the film when um, <clears throat> um, this would be actually interesting to see how this was interpreted in the film is um, peel off in the gang they they steal the Dragon Balls, and they want and, and I assume that at that point they're they're already old, so they want their youth back. Well, I guess Shinron interpreted the wish wrong. And turn them into kids. So, I guess they, they, they go over to the capsule corporation because they want to steal the Dragon Balls again to try to, I guess, wish themselves back. Which I hope they don't. And uh, and, and when they sh- when they show up in the property, Balma sees sees them and invites them to her birthday party. Uh, so, she, so she, she tries to get with uh, my. <laughs> oh wait wait wait. wait. Hey, uh, Shippy Trunks tries to get, um, hook up with. Uh, I heard there, there, there there's gonna, there's going to be a romance. Well, one of the characters has a, a romantic deal. So just to, just picture uh, Laura Bailey. Yeah, I'm a fan. Uh, it, it, that that alone has got me hooked to go see that the, the film when it comes out. Whether fan be, fiction. Yeah, Laura Bailey voicing Kid Trunks. Putting the moves on Chibi Mai, so <laughs> try to imagine the uh, the, the uh, one-liners or the uh, not the one-liners, but the um, the hookup lines. Again, he's gonna try to say, "Hey, baby, can, can I have your phone number? Because I lost mine." Of course, yeah. I would like to see. I would like to see uh, Go- Goku do. I'd like to see this one scene just because it's such a thing they've done to death. Goku going, 
Hey, Vegeta, what's his power level again? And Vegeta goes, I'm not saying it, Kakarot. Come on, say it one time. I'm not saying that frickin' line anymore. Please. It's over 9,000. Yay! <laughs> oh, God, that line. Uh, you know, how many times do we have to keep hearing that over 9,000 line again? It's over 8,000. But it was... No, 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 no. Vegeta, what's the power scanner say about his power level? It's overrated. Shut the hell up, Nappa. <laughs> I hope that I just I kind of hope they do that just because it's such an inside joke that everyone knows. I would just be laughing, going, "Oh God, they're doing it." It's overrated, Ash. That meme was never funny to begin with. For some reason, people Ash loved it. Uh, it's like remember the early interviews with um, well, not interviews, but um, well, I don't know if you call it interviews, but. Chris uh, Sabat would say, you know, when, when he was first dubbing the, uh, <clears throat> the, the Direct Mobile Z, people w would go up to him and say, what's Goki's power level? He's like, what? <laughs> and it, I wonder if he ever gets tired of it. He's like, does, do, do oh, people... Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he gets tired of it every time he's been asked that question. <laughs> he's like, what's Kakarot's power level? It's over 1,000. It's 1,000. Yeah. For, um, it's like Chris Sabat had an interview at um, a Comic Con at, um, in America. So in America, and um, they were saying, like, this guy was saying to him, Oh, are you didn't do Bow of Gods. And he says, um, I don't know yet because Funimation now came to me. Yet. And then they're saying, like, um, Oh, my, my mind just went blank. <laughs> yeah. uh, your, man, your mind's just as blank yeah, as I am. Yeah, Chris said it says, um, for the motion I came to me, yeah. And, um, this guy says, um, Vegeta gets battered. Badly, he says, oh, that can be a good news. And then Vegeta gets battered then. Huh. We speak into the mic, Goku. Um, anything else? Yeah, oh. I'm, going to, I'm going to sleep, so it's like 10 o'clock in the evening. What? What was that? I can't really hear you because your mic is being muffled. Yeah, I think uh, it's Charlie Brown's teacher taking over. Is it pretty much nothing else to talk about? Can't think of anything. Know. Uh, other no, than I'm, I'm going to sleep. It's two, it's two o'clock in the morning. Okay. Sleep. All right. All right, Charlie Brown's take you. We'll, we'll let you go to bed now. <laughs> and quit beating up Rihanna. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, okay. You're listening to the Ash and Man of Tomorrow podcast. We will see you later. Good night. Night. Catch you later.